Hello friends, we are here on this rainy day in the first chapter of 2 Timothy. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1. Now 2 Timothy is not exactly like 1 Timothy. It's different in the sense that 1 Timothy was very much Paul talking to Timothy about how to lead the church. And it's talking about issues that are going on with church. Now, just to, just to remind anybody, uh, Timothy is is the head of the church in Ephesus. And so the, the first letter was all about Ephesus and, and the things that are going on there. However, this is a very personal letter. This is a letter from Paul to Timothy about the relationship between Paul and Timothy. Paul is in, is in chains. He's just about to be executed for the gospel. You know, in most of this book, he's talking about the fact that that they shouldn't be ashamed of the gospel and they shouldn't be ashamed of Paul. You know, you would, you would be likely to think that if someone was constantly in trouble with the government, constantly being arrested, that, that there's something wrong with this person, that he's doing something wrong and that you shouldn't side with them. But what he is saying here is that, that what he's been doing is good and he's, he's basically telling Timothy that he wants to carry on, he wants Timothy to carry on the ministry that he started. So that's what's going on here. You know, he starts the letter the same way he always does, with thanksgiving, which I think is amazing. Here's a guy facing death, and he's thanking God. He's thanking God for Timothy, and, and he's saying, I always remember you in my prayers, and, and I'm just so overjoyed by the, the faith that you have, but not just you, you know, your family, your mother and your grandmother. So he ends up talking a lot about, about the gospel that he's in chains for. But then he's talking to Timothy and he says something that I think is really cool. He says, he says fan, the, fan the flames of the gift that you've been given. You know, fan into flames. I love that picture because sometimes I, I deal with the issue of understanding like, okay, I've been given some sort of spiritual gift and and yet, how much am I supposed to work at it? Like, what is the, how much is my contribution and how much is God's contribution? And, and really, you know, you, you want to say, well, God created me. He also created this gift that he's given me. And so, you know, you can give all the glory to God. However, like, what, what is your part in doing it? And I love this idea of us just taking this gift that God has given us and just fanning it to flames. So you're not you're not you're not any part of it except for some in some ways you're you're making it you're making it work in your life more. You're you're using it to your advantage. So he's saying fan into flames this gift that you've been given. And he's talking, I think, more in particular about the Holy Spirit. You know, not not a specific gift that he's been given, but the gift of the Holy Spirit in his life. So what should this mean for us? You know, we've been, given, we've been given the Holy Spirit. If you're a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit. And you need to fan the flames of that. You need to really use it, you know, for the kingdom. Because in, in the end, the only thing that's going to matter is how much, how much you've used the gifts that God has given you. Well, it's really raining, isn't it? So... The, the next thing, and I'll just mention it really quick because it, it's raining on me, and that is that, uh, hello, <laughs> and that is he's talking about the people in Asia. You know, Asia means Ephesus, you know, that's, that's where Timothy is, and he's saying, everybody's deserted me. You know, they, they, they see him in his chains, and they see how, how the the government has has come down on him they're saying no i'm not i'm not associating with him anymore but then he mentions one person I'm trying to remember it's like ana 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 cephalus i forget his name exactly but he's saying he came to rome and he found me he searched day and night to find me so that he can be a blessing to me and that's what he's saying, that's what he's saying to Timothy. He's saying, you know, 
if you could be be like be like him you know and may god bless him because he knows that there's there's only one right there's only one right and wrong and that is the standard that god has set not the government and so he's saying i want to bless paul I want to bless Paul for standing up for what is good and what is right. And that's something that we need to remember today. You know, our, our society says one thing is right. And the Bible may say that something else is right. But God wants us to stand up for, for him, for what is right, and for the gospel. That is 2 Timothy chapter 1. Have a great day.